In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a header for a research paper and a heading and also how to insert a page break and to paste in your works cited, which hopefully you did with EasyBib. I'll start with the heading. The heading is what tells my teacher whose paper this is. So that's going to be at the top left of my page and I put in my name, my teacher's name, the name of the class I'm taking, and the date. And for the date we use the European style which is the day followed by the month followed by the year. Now the title of my paper, and for this paper I am just using some text from Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I'm using that to represent the research paper text. So I'll make my title Treasure Island. That has to be centered so I go up to the toolbar, the Google toolbar. Right now it is aligned on the left Next to that on the toolbar is the center alignment. One click and there it is. The header is different from the heading. The header is what appears at the top of each page. It should say the last name of the student and the page number. To do that I'm going to go to the insert menu and insert a header. That header has already been inserted once, so that's why it's grayed out here. But that's where it is under Insert. Then I type my name, my last name. And that's going to be followed by the page number. Now if I type in the number 1, each page will be numbered 1. What you have to do in order to get it to automatically change page numbers is use the insert menu. Insert page number at the top of the page. When the page number is inserted that way it shows with a little gray highlight on it and that means it's going to be correct. It's going to automatically change for each page. That header has to be aligned on the right of the page. So I highlight the whole thing, back to the menu, and I will choose the right align to put it at the right side of the page. Okay, so there's my research paper, and notice that each page is automatically numbered correctly. Now I'm going to go to that document that I made using EasyBib that has all my work cited on it. That's right here. I'm going to copy that with a command C and paste it at the bottom of my research paper. Now my research paper which ends at page 7 um, there's some space there still on page 7 as you see but I don't want my work cited to start on that. That's supposed to be a separate page. So I'm going to click after my last paragraph and insert a page break. And then I'll paste in with a command V the work cited that I got from EasyBib. And now I'm finished with my research paper.